This is the third and the final method of the aquarium cycling method. And this is also the method that I choose to cycle my 15 gallon aquarium. And that is cycling with plants. <laughs> What's up my aquatic friends, Raja here and welcome to Taj Mahal Aquatics. Your source of coolest fish content and everything about fish keeping. After I showed you the fishless and the fish in aquarium cycling method, now we are going to take a look at the final method of aquarium cycling. As I mentioned in my first aquarium cycling video, there are three methods you can try to cycle an aquarium. And this is the third and final method. And this is the method that I use to cycle my 15 gallon aquarium. And that is cycling with plants. And I'm gonna show you how you can cycle an aquarium with plants. So you can try it yourself. And you are probably wondering how I can cycle my aquarium with plants? Make sure you stick around till the end so you know how to do it. So let's dive in to find out. Just like the last two methods that I showed you, the first step is to set up the aquarium first. Like the previous method, you want to make sure you have everything set up, especially the essentials like filter, heater, bubbler, and everything else. So set up all of the equipment and make sure that every essential equipment is running, and then we can move on to the next step. Once all of the equipment is installed, we can move on with the plants. Before you plant the plants, it's highly recommended to disinfect the plants first. Disinfecting the plant will reduce the risk of bacteria and parasites from harming the aquarium environment. And in this stage, I would also trim some of the melting leaves so the plants can focus on new growth. And once the plants are disinfected, you may now plant your plants in your aquarium. Once you fully set up the aquarium and plant all of the plants, the next step is to set the lighting schedule. Lighting for a planted aquarium is essential as lighting will allow the plants to photosynthesize so you have to make sure you have the optimal lighting for your aquarium and you may also schedule the lighting for your plants as the plants don't need the lights on for 24 7 10 to 12 hours of lighting per day is enough for your plants so your plants can photosynthesize After you had the lighting ready, you may now add the fertilizer. For the type of fertilizer that you have to use is actually depending on what plants you have. For column feeder, you can use liquid fertilizer, while for root feeder, you can use root taps. Add in the fertilizer of your choice to your aquarium and make sure you follow the fertilizer dosing based on the fertilizer that you have. Once you already add in the fertilizer, the next step is to watch for any new growth. At this point, waiting for new growth may take a long time, as you will have to wait for 2 to 3 weeks to check for new growth. 
For my aquarium, I only need 2 weeks to have new growth. But for some, it might also take 3 weeks for new growth. But as you notice new growth in your aquarium, it's very likely that your aquarium is reaching balance. And as you notice new growth, you will also notice some green algae and diatoms. This is actually a good sign as that means there's enough nutrition to sustain growth. But if you don't want too much algae, you may reduce the lighting to only 8 to 10 hours. Once you have new growth in your aquarium, you may now start doing some water tests. Water test is needed to monitor your aquarium contaminant. Do a water test on your aquarium to check the ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate level in your aquarium. You may need to wait a few more weeks to have a stable water condition in your aquarium. If you want to be 100% sure if your aquarium is fully cycled or not, you can do a test with a drop of pure ammonia. You may add in 1 ppm of ammonia in your aquarium and then wait for 24 hours. And then you can do a water test 24 hours later. If the ammonia and nitrite reading is zero, after you add in the ammonia 24 hours before, then that's a sign that you have successfully cycled your aquarium. And your aquarium is ready for fish. So there you have it, that's how you do an aquarium cycling with plants. This is one of the greatest methods of aquarium cycling, and it's also the favorite methods of aquarium cycling for many hobbyists. And this method is probably going to be my go-to aquarium cycling method, as from now on, I will do planted aquariums if I ever wanted to make another aquarium setup. So that's a wrap for this video, and do you think cycling with plants is the best aquarium cycling method? Let me know in the comment section below, and make sure you smash the like button if you like this video, and share this video if you find it to be helpful and amusing. And if you want to see more cool fish content from this channel, make sure to subscribe cause there will be more to come. Thanks for watching my aquatic friends and have a wonderful aquatic life.